Hey, what is going on? I'm Dave from Dragon Android, and today I have a very exciting news for Xiaomi Redmi 4 users. Because in this video, we are going to install and check out the very first Nougat based custom ROM for the Xiaomi Redmi 4, aka the Redmi 4X. So, first of all, in order to install the ROM, as always, you need TWRP recovery installed in the device. So, if you haven't already, I will leave links to my tutorial videos in the description below or I will leave cards right here so check them out so now you need to download three zip files the ROM the Google Apps and the no Vitted zip file so I will leave links to all the three zip files in the description below so make sure that you download them and place them either in the internal storage or in the SD card of your device so once you have done that power off your device and reboot into recovery mode by holding the volume up button and the power button together. So now this menu will pop up and here select recovery and now select the blue Chinese button. So now the device has booted into TWRP recovery. So the very first thing you need to do is to take a complete backup of your current ROM using TWRP recovery's inbuilt backuping option. And now select wipe, select advanced and select cache, Dalvik cache, system and data and swipe to wipe. And now go back and select install and now select the ROM file and swipe to flash. And now select the Google Apps zip file and swipe to flash. And now select the Novera zip file and swipe to flash. So don't forget to flash the Novera zip file because this is very important. So if you don't flash the Novera zip file, the device will not boot. And now select reboot system. So the first boot into the ROM takes quite a bit of time. It took me about seven to 10 minutes. So yeah, just sit back and relax. So now we have successfully booted into ROM. So I'll set up the ROM and I'll be back. So now I have set up the ROM completely. So let's take a brief look at the ROM. So as you can see, the ROM is based on Android Nougat with the latest version 7.1.2. And for some odd reason, the specifications mentioned in the about phone info are totally inaccurate. Like the SOC is mentioned as Snapdragon 430 instead of 435. And the RAM is mentioned as 4 gigabytes, even though this is a 2 gigabyte model as you can see. So now moving on to network settings, there's a toggle to enable enhanced LTE mode. Vivo LTE work. IR Blaster is also not working. I tried both MI Remote and Peel Smart Remote app and neither of them worked. But apart from IR Blaster, everything else works super fine, like the camera works both photos and videos work without any issues. In fact, the photos and videos quality is actually very similar to that of what we got on MIUI, the stock MIUI ROM, so it's totally fine. And the ROM also has support for camera quick launch shortcut by which you can launch the camera app quickly by double pressing the power button from any screen. And since it's a Nougat based ROM, Nougat features like multi-window, and the ability to adapt external SD card as your internal storage are present and works fine. Apart from this, the ROM also has a security app which offers some security features like anti-theft, file protection, app permission management and so on. So now let's talk about the elephant in the ROM. I mean elephant in the room. 
that odd looking navigation bar so the device actually has capacitive touch button so having the navigation bar on a 5 inch 720p display is just takes too much away from screen real estate but still if you want on screen buttons well and good you can just roll with it but if you are like me and you want to use the hardware keys and you want to get rid of the navigation bar well don't worry i got a workaround for that too so the first thing you need to do is go to play store and download the built prop editor tool and grant it root access and open it now search for the hw section or the hardware section and find the hw dot main keys and now edit the value as one instead of zero and now reboot the device and once the device reboots as you can see the navigation bar won't be present anymore so now what about using the touch capacitive buttons they work fine right no they don't because the back button works the home button works but the recent apps key opens the menu and not the recent apps and i've got a workaround for that too so once again go to play store and this time download the button mapper application so now there are actually two versions of the application a paid version and a free version in the free version you can remap only one button and in the paid version you can remap all the buttons so that's the difference and i'm using a paid version so yeah so now open the app and grant it accessibility permissions and now if you are using the paid version select the menu button enable customize select single press and select recent apps and as you can see the pressing the menu button or the recent apps button open the recent apps panel but if you are using the free version then you can change the home button only so in that case select home button and enable customize select long press and select recent apps and now as you can see long pressing the home button opens the recent apps menu so now moving on basic things like flashlight and gps works without any issues as you can see and surprisingly enough the fingerprint scanner is also working and if you are surprised why i'm so surprised about a working fingerprint scanner it's because the person who posted this rom in miui forum mentioned that the fingerprint scanner is not working but clearly it's working without any issues for me but the person who posted this rom in miui forum is using a remy 4x and i'm using a remy 4 the one sold in india and for me the fingerprint scanner works totally fine so i guess it the fingerprint scanner does not work in remy 4x variant i'm not sure if you are using a remy 4x test out this rom and Mention in the comments below if it if the fingerprint scanner works for you or not so that we can be clear if the fingerprint scanner works on all devices or all units or if it works only on Remy 4 Indian variants. So yeah, that's it for this video guys. Links for all the files and applications used in this video will be in the description below. So don't forget to check the description. And if you like this video and if you found this video useful, go down and hit the like button. And for more videos like this, go down and hit the red subscribe button and the bell icon right next to the subscribe button so that you get notified as soon as I upload another new video. And I'll see you all later.